Greetings. So, one of the reasons why you chose to watch this video might be because you're working on a uh, vehicle with a bolt-in uh, rear axle setup. And you're trying to figure out how to remove the rear axle. Well, I'm going to show you uh, a quick rundown on how to do that. So you can see I've got the back of the vehicle set up on jack stands <clears throat> and uh, got a drain pan underneath the uh, rear where the, where the brakes are, the rear brake setup. This is just a precautionary measure. Um, I've also got the uh, the drum off and so everything's exposed. So um, remove the uh, rear axle on a non C clip rear end. It's uh, pretty straightforward. At least on my uh, Jeep Cherokee, here it is. What you've got here is you've got your flange, your axle flange here. And you'll see your axle flange, axle flange has a hole in it right there. What that, that hole is for is it's an access hole. And what that access hole is for is for these four bolts. You can see that one's still got a nut on it. There's four bolts there. So, what that does is you spin that and it allows you to get in there with your uh, ratchet and your socket, which is a, uh, it's going to be a 14 millimeter and 9 sixteenths. You're going to need a short extension. You take that one off. Then you go ahead and you spin it around. You get down here to the other one. Take it off and you go around the other side and you take it off and so on and so forth. So we go ahead and take this one off. Then <clears throat> what some people do is they use a slide hammer and they use a flange adapter and you can rent those at AutoZone and you put the, uh, the flange adapter on these three uh, studs and uh, use a slide hammer and you just you know slide it back and it'll pull the uh, axle out. There is a homebrew method on how you can do this. And all you do is you take your drum and you put it on backwards. Like that. Now you can see that. There. there. You have the, the drum on backwards. Then you get three lug nuts and you go ahead and thread them on there. A couple turns. You don't want to torque them down because you want to make this uh, drum into a, a slide hammer. Let's get a couple threads started on there. Okay. Then what you do is you grab your your uh, drum and you you get and there it comes. Axles out, just like that. Quick and painless. So, if you're doing a locker, which is what I'm doing on this, um, it requires you to remove the axles, and that's how you do it on a uh, non C clip rear end. So, a little crude video, but uh, I hope it uh, delivered the message and got the point across. So, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to comment. And uh, if you like this or any of my other videos, um, I welcome you to, to uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching.